Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how we make gelatin bubbles for cake decorating. We're going to start off by using these mini water balloons. Let's get started. So I'm going to blow them up into various sizes. For my cake design, I wanted a bunch of different sizes. See this little tiny guy here? And then I have some bigger ones. And I am going to make a few extra in case anything happens to them. For this next step, you'll need some toothpicks. So you can either stick the toothpick inside of the end of the balloon and wrap it up with tape, or you can do this method. So I'm taking the toothpick and I'm just wrapping the end of the balloon around tightly. And then I'm going to tape it up all the way. Try to make sure that your balloon doesn't move around too much. Continue to do this for all of your balloons. I'm placing them into a piece of styrofoam because after I dip them in the gelatin, they're going to rest here. Now for this step, you're gonna need a microwave safe bowl. I'm just using a glass Pyrex bowl. And we're gonna be using unflavored gelatin. You can usually find this at any grocery store or Walmart. For this recipe, I do use one part gelatin powder and two parts drinking water. I'm using one tablespoon of gelatin and two tablespoons of water. Make sure you mix this up real good. You want all that gelatin powder dissolved into water. As you're mixing it, you will notice that it will start to thicken up, which is normal. When you have it all mixed up, that's when you can start to add your color. I like to add petal dust for the coloring as it will not mess with the consistency of the gelatin. I'll be using this pink petal dust and I'm just going to add a little bit at a time until I get my desired color. Mix it up real good so you get that color incorporated all throughout. Once you get it to your desired color, pop it in the microwave for 15 seconds on full power. And this is what it looks like after the microwave. So the color is not quite what I wanted. I do need to add a little bit more coloring, which is fine. I'll just have to mix it in real good. Once you finally get it to the color that you want, skim off some of that foam on top before we start dipping. It's okay if you can't get it all, just try to get as much as you can. Now we're ready to dip. Grab your balloon and you can tilt your bowl at an angle if you don't have that much in there. Get the whole thing covered. Before you put your balloon into your styrofoam to dry, you just wanna rotate your balloon all different angles just to make sure you don't have a drip at the very end of your balloon. Once it looks good, set it into your styrofoam to dry and you can move on to the next balloon. Repeat this step for all of your balloons that you want this color and let them dry before moving on to the next coat of gelatin. Keep 
Keep rotating your balloon before you set it in your styrofoam to dry to try to get off as much gelatin as you can to avoid drips. I'm done with this shade of pink for now, so now I'm gonna move on to make the next shade of pink. Same thing as before, one tablespoon of gelatin powder to two tablespoons of water. For this shade of pink, I'll be using crushed raspberry petal dust. Same thing as before, only add a little bit at a time. You can always add more, but you can't take it away. Now this is ready for the microwave, 15 seconds, full power. Scrape off some of the foam on top before dipping. I'm rotating this balloon and I'm trying to let all of the excess gelatin drip from the back so that it's not on the front of my bubble. I'm gonna dip a few more balloons into this shade of color and then I'm gonna set them in the styrofoam to dry. Now that I'm done with the darker shade, I'm gonna go back to the lighter shade for now. But as you can see, as it sits, it becomes very gummy and thick. But this is fine, we are going to make some more anyway. I'm going to add the gelatin powder right on top, and I'm going to add the water right on top, and I'm going to give it a good mix. Be sure to add a little bit more coloring as we just added more gelatin and more water so it diluted the color that you previously had. When it's all mixed up, pop in the microwave for 15 seconds full power. This is what it looks like. Don't forget to scrape off some of that foam before you start dipping. The first layer of gelatin usually sits for about 10 to 15 minutes. It doesn't necessarily get hard, but it does start to set up. And this is why it's okay to start dipping your second coat now.
I'm gonna give these a chance to rest, so I'm gonna go back to the darker pink, but it's become gummy, so I pop it into the microwave for 15 seconds and it's ready to dip again. I let the gelatin bubbles rest overnight for about eight hours and that's what they look like in the styrofoam. And this is what they look like after they come off of the toothpick and I'll show you how we do that right now. So now you'll take your bubble and make sure you hold it gently so that you don't crack it because at this point they have become hard and brittle. So what you wanna do is gently twist your toothpick and your balloon might still be stuck inside of the gelatin bubble. And this is easy, you just use a tiny pair of scissors and then you'll just cut your balloon. You can pop it this way. And then I like to use tweezers to get the rest of the balloon out. It will start to release from the sides. You just have to be patient and give it some time. I'm gonna use my little pair of scissors to make the opening a little bit bigger so it's easier for me to get those tweezers inside. I'm just trimming off any rough edges for when I go to attach it to the cake. It has a nice smooth surface. Continue to remove the balloons from each one of these gelatin bubbles and make sure you cut off any rough edges for when you go to attach it to the cake. All right, so now for the fun part, we get to attach our gelatin bubbles to our cake. This is just a buttercreamed cake. This one was iced with Italian meringue buttercream and it's set in the fridge so the buttercream is nice and firm. I'm just going to add a little bit of buttercream to the opening of my gelatin bubble and this is where I will be able to attach it to the cake.
If you have excess buttercream on your cake around your gelatin bubble, you can use a clean paintbrush and wipe off the excess. So I'm actually going to move some of these bubbles around. I had originally planned to put the age of birthday girl on the bigger bubble on the top right and with the other bubble in the way you wouldn't be able to see the three. So I'm just placing the bubbles in different locations seeing if it's going to work out better and the good thing about these gelatin bubbles is you can always move them around. You just have to apply more buttercream. Now I'm just gonna add her name to the side of the cake. I'm going to be using my edible glue. This can be found on my website, lhcakery.com. All of the letters for her name have a toothpick inside already. So I'm just placing the edible glue on the edge of the toothpick and then I'll be able to insert it into the side of the cake and it'll stay in place. And this is what the cake looks like with all of those gelatin bubbles added on and her name. I'm super excited how it came out. I hope you guys like this tutorial.